Hello everyone. In the first lecture of basic mechanical engineering, we are going to start with the fundamentals of first unit that is introduction to mechanical engineering. So we start with the first question, what is a machine? So as we know, it's a very simple definition. Machine is a device consisting of a various elements arranged together so as to perform a prescribed task or to satisfy human needs. So basically in this block diagram you'll get to know machine is what the different elements arrange together to perform a specific task. So we get a desired output or a prescribed task performed by a different elements together with the form of or with the input of some form of energy or with the source of energy. So in short you can say a device which performs a prescribed task with some input it's called as a machine. So as per basic definition of machine, we'll be discussing the fundamentals of unit one. So first topic is machine elements. So what is machine element? Machine element is a component or a group of component which performs a specific function. So basically as per the functions of machine element, we are classifying these elements as holding machine elements, transmitting power and supporting machine element. For example, if we have a fan, ceiling fan or table fan, it's for this particular machine, we have a supply of input as electrical energy and we get a rotation as output, a mechanical form of energy. So basically that fan provides a mechanical motion that is we say a cooled air with the help of input as electrical energy. So there are a lot of machine element which function is to hold something to transmit power or to give us support. So with this three basic category we are going to classify all machine elements together. So we'll see one by one. So these machine elements as per their function they are classified into three types. First type holding type machine elements. The machine element which holds the machine components together they are called as holding type machine elements. As example keys, nut bolts and the rivet and cotters. So you know nut and bolts are commonly used to hold some machine parts. So nut bolts comes into the category of holding type machine elements. Second type is supporting type. The machine element which supports components or machine other machine elements are called as a supporting type machine elements. So axle, bearing, bracket and the frames these are the example. And the last one the machine element which are used for power transmitting purpose. The machine element which transmit the power are called as power transmitting elements. Examples shaft, pulleys, belt, chain and the gears. So you might be knowing the things gear drives, chain drives in bicycles, automobiles. They are used to transmit a power. So all this chain, pulleys, belt comes into the category of power transmitting elements. So one first a basic part will start with the content of first unit. The first part is shaft. So what is a shaft? Shaft is a circular cross section rotating member. So in this animation you can see this red color rotating part or red color round cross section part which we call it the shaft. So shaft anything which is in circular cross section which is used to transmit a power. So as per definition you can say a rotating member, a machine element which is used to transmit a power, it's called as a shaft. So function is to transmit power from one side to the another side. So I can say here in this diagram, you can see this is which is cross section rotating member. This is also a shaft on which a gears are mounted. These are the gears on one shaft. This is another shaft on which these gears are mounted. So function of trans this basically all the shafts are to transmit the power from one part to another part. So this is one shaft. This is another shaft. This is also one shaft. So we'll discuss now a different types of shaft. So
so types of shaft first type transmission shaft the shaft which is used for transmitting power which generally called as transmitting the power between source and the particular machine comes into the category of transmission shaft so most of the shaft we can classify in this category as transmission shaft they are again classified as transmission shaft as a line shaft and second is counter shaft so what is a line shaft a line shaft is a shaft which is driven from a prime mover or a line shaft is a shaft which is driven from any prime mover means electric motor engine from a prime sources so this diagram you can see this is the line shaft and this shaft drives n number of machine let's say this machine this is machine and this so a line shaft is a shaft which is a power driven or which is driven from a one common power source and which drives the machines a different n number of machines simultaneously so actually this line machine shaft was a common technology to drive a different machine parallelly with the common prime mover or single prime mover so that's the definition of a line shaft a shaft which drives a different machines you can see this different machines are drive from this common parallel one single shaft by using different belt drives you can see this all belts together and the second type it's counter so by the definition of counter shaft you know counter is like parallel so any shaft which is drives or transfer the power from a line shaft or it is as a secondary shaft we can call this as counter shaft so i'll say this is from engine this you can see this is a green color shaft power is transmitted from this shaft to this lash in this diagram next is shaft machine shaft is a shaft which is an integral part of machine so you can see in this animations two animations the machine shaft they are different from transmission because in transmission the shaft transmit the power between source and machine whereas in machine shaft it is a integral part of machine itself so they are again classified with spindle and the crank shaft so this in first diagram you can see this is spindle of lathe machine so this i can say a spindle whereas this diagram is for crank shaft this is crank shaft so in this in first part that is spindle which is a part of machine itself so this is called as a spindle it comes into the category of machine shaft whereas the second one is a crank shaft which view in on t crank shaft itself is a part of so we come to this part as machine shaft whereas this lathe last part is axle so what is axle axle is a non rotating machine element which is used to support rotating machine elements like wheels pulleys etc so what is the difference between shaft and axle shaft is a rotating member so which is used for transmitting power whereas 
axles are used to support wheels and pulleys so it's a non rotating member so difference between shaft and axle is axle is non rotating supporting member whereas shaft is rotating transmitting machine elements so in this two diagrams you can see this part this part this part is a stationary part which is used to support this wheels similarly this this bar which we call as axle so technically this bar which is a stationary non rotating used for supporting this wheels are called as axle so for supporting wheels and axle pulleys axles are used to support this kind of elements uh, like wheels and pulleys so difference is it is a supporting member non rotating that is stationary thank you